Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to my Champions League semi final predictions. Well, I was not all that great in my uh, quarter final predictions. I had the big four going through, so there are two surprises that I didn't get, but no matter what. Those are the four teams that we have left in the competition. I highlight them specially, and I wanted to be in my outfit as neutral as possible because. Um, then I have only three teams left that, uh, you know, I could have put a Barcelona jersey, a Liverpool away jersey, an Ajax away jersey. And it's, uh, then I remembered I have this wonderful Juventus track suit with the star ball here. Just that uh, this is not mirrored the, the screen that I'm recording to. So I thought this might be actually the best way of uh, being neutral. It's the only Juventus thing that I have uh, for now. I'm still working on this Juventus shirt. I really want to get a special one. Um, but I gotta meet the seller first. Uh, the only thing that shines through here is the Valencia shirt. I see. Can we hide it a little bit now? Let's leave it that way. Uh, the order here is really as they're playing. We have the first game, Tottenham at home to Arsenal, then Barcelona at home to Liverpool, and the other way around. And the only overlapping because that's the way I could fit it and I kept it as is. So uh, nothing to do with my predictions so far. Uh, before we get into the real predictions, just note that the two teams that have lighter home sets are playing first, uh, are playing against each other and the two with the darker home sets play second. Unfortunately, this will mean, not automatically mean that we'll get a light against dark final because UEFA will not like Ajax white with big red against all red of Liverpool. I foresee this being a problem if should those two make it into the final. I'm even not sure if they would allow this matchup, although I think they're more okay with Barcelona against Ajax. Uh, very curious. I will actually, last thing, I will probably redo this whole set a little bit, put a little bit more scarves up. You see already back there are a few showing. I want to get more in there and make it a little bit more interesting, at least until we convert this into a proper studio workroom for me and my wife together. Predictions. I, If I would have had the time, I had such great ideas of giving you form curves and all that kind of uh, stuff, but I guess I'm gonna give you my gut feeling for this uh, without big fancy graphics. So the only fancy predictions that I'm gonna pull up are the 538 predictions for uh, the Champions League, and it's actually quite interesting. Uh, it, it also tells you here the probabilities of making it to the final and then actually win the final, meaning winning it all. And it is weirdly enough quite even. I, thanks to the rating with Liverpool, since they have also the return leg at home, a 52% favorite over Barcelona, according to 538. Ajax a 51% favorite over Tottenham. Super tightly contested. And I'll be talking about in the two ties. Um, the matchups, at least from the onset, seem super, super even. And then winning it, of course, uh, I think everyone will, will agree that the two teams that play uh, in the second semifinal with Barcelona and Liverpool, those are at least from the outside, the two better teams. Um, so they are, of course, favored to win the final, even if they play each other. And therefore, we have Liverpool 37% chance of uh, winning the Champions League, followed by Barcelona with 33%, Ajax 16%, and Tottenham 14%. So that's basically what the mathematical models are saying. Note, this is all based on ratings, where Liverpool has a slightly higher rating than um Barcelona, but also note that Tottenham has a higher rating than Ajax, but Ajax having a second leg at home gives them probably just about the edge. And that's, I think, the crucial part in this model here. Not knowing all full well the details, but I think this is probably what's uh, underlying these predictions. Let's come to my predictions. First, the game that is happening uh, Tuesday night between Spurs and Ajax. I think it's a very even matchup uh, in the sense that unlike Juventus and unlike Real Madrid, Tottenham is a team that can match Ajax's style if they would be at full strength. Uh, same counter-attacking, moving, fluid, uh, really nice to watch soccer. I'm really pumped for this matchup and a little bit gutted that uh, Spurs cannot play in their full uh, first string squad. We have Kane out. We have um, 
Um, we have sun out, there are others that will be missing, so it's kind of uh, a little bit uh, sad in that part, which actually puts tomorrow Ajax in a big, uh, not big, but in slightly favored position. And Ajax has been better uh, away from home than at home. So for that reason, um, I think there is there really is a slight edge to Ajax. And what also goes into the model probably that I just showed you are injuries and um, available players. Uh, Ajax pulled off a win during the week uh, to uh, stay top of the table in the Netherlands. Spurs had a very uh, surprising home defeat to West Ham, uh, which actually... I thought they're losing at the right moment. I don't know if this is not indicative of how they will play or if this is just get this loss out of your system and be ready for Ajax. Because in the end, that's what uh, that's the only thing that Spurs has uh, left to play for. Uh, the other three teams in the Premier League, I will make my review video uh, after this one. Uh, and you will see uh, that the fight for Champions League spots uh, Chelsea, Arsenal and United are so inept that I think Spurs is rather safe even if they don't have great results. So the Champions League is where it's at for them and I think that Pochettino will come up with a good plan. Still, I think I see Ajax tomorrow winning, but maybe only by a slim margin. I want to, you know, gut feeling says 1-0, but this is Ajax. Um, and Spurs... 2-1 Ajax tomorrow. Uh, and I think in the return, like when Son is back, I can see that Spurs win this, wins this 3-2 in Amsterdam. I'm maybe a little bit uh, more cautious. Let's say it will be a 1-1, but Ajax gets the win eventually. And Ajax through to the final, but this is shaky. Um, I've been going, I literally have been going back and forth on this one. Um... I don't like, as an Ajax sympathizer, if not fan, I think you can call me an Ajax fan, um, I would have liked to see it reversed because of the good luck that Ajax is first uh, not playing well at home and then uh, getting the result away from home. Now they need to reverse it. I don't like that dynamic. I also don't like that this is the first time that Ajax actually is a favorite since the group stage when they were favorites against Benfica. So... Really, really, really tight tie. I can well see Spurs going through. I give this slight edge to Ajax. 3 to an aggregate for Ajax. With uh, a win tomorrow, just because the squad of Spurs is so decimated. Um, full disclosure here, I, I want Ajax to win for a very stupid reason. You know... Salzburg is, I said it before, Austria would have a conditional spot, a fixed spot in the Champions League, but Salzburg doesn't qualify for the Champions League. And the only way now that they can qualify, they are more or less champions, unless they have an epic collapse. I mean, they could have become champions yesterday, uh, but they lost in Lask 1, so it's not going to happen. They have to wait uh, for at least one more, if not two more weeks. Um, but the, more or less, they are champions of Austria. So they would be have the fixed spot if the winner of the Champions League doesn't qualify, uh, wouldn't qualify over the national championship. This means if Barcelona or Liverpool uh, would win the Champions League, Austria has a fixed spot. If Spurs makes it in third place or in, within the top four, Austria would have the fixed spot. If Ajax wins, however, Netherlands are behind Austria, then Salzburg would not make it into the fix in the Champions League. For that reason, I really want Ajax to win. And I know this goes totally against my country's league, but it's just... I feel not even bad about it, to be honest. Because I, as much as I admire Salzburg, I always say Salzburg is better in the Europa League. But yeah, my first prediction, Ajax by a hair. The second one is even tougher. Uh, it is very easy for me to say Barcelona are the favorites. Um, even if the calculations here didn't show that, uh, it seems to me Barcelona, just with an, if you have Messi, you always have a chance. You're always in the game. Barcelona has not been playing spectacular, but they have been playing extremely well. Um, at the beginning of the season, I was kind of harsh on Pique, but Pique has become a 
world-class defender during this season. Probably the best in Europe. Up there with Van Dijk on the other end. Both teams have a three-man attack uh, where at least two are absolutely uh, outstanding form and the third one is come, 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 come in there. You have Barcelona, Suarez, Messi and then take a pick of Dembele and Coutinho. With Liverpool you have, of course, Sané, Mane, Mane, uh, Salah and uh, Firmino. But Firmino might not be playing tomorrow. We heard from Klopp about a tear. Uh, but I think that the, the way that Liverpool is playing with that speed that they have, this is what could hurt Barcelona. The same way that I think that Ajax, all those three teams, they could hurt Barcelona. Um, in a way that uh, they don't have seen. We have seen Barcelona dismantle Spurs, but Spurs actually pulled out, I think, did they pull out a victory at, at least a draw at the camp now in the group stage. So, you know, it's not all that rosy. Um, I also think there's a little curse when there's a final play in Madrid, even if Barcelona is the best team around, Barcelona is not going to make it to the final. Um, I do see Barcelona winning on Wednesday evening. Um, I'm thinking at 2-1 and then it goes to Anfield and at that point Liverpool might have only the Champions League to play for and Liverpool is through the slump I can safely say that I think Liverpool looks dangerous again Barcelona got the championship whenever Barcelona won a Champions League they had the championship in the back first so that's a sign towards Barcelona. If you look the way playing, I honestly, it's so hard to say. It is so hard to say. I actually want to say that Liverpool is going to win 3-1 in, in added time at Anfield. But I can see it also going the other way. Those two ties are great in that the two teams are evenly matched up. If there was any other combination of these, we would have a clear favorite. It would be either Liverpool or Barcelona. But since the two favorites are playing each other and the two co-favorites are not, this makes it so spicy and so interesting to watch. And I think we will see a bunch of great matches. I actually think, and this is the hard, hard thing, I think of all the sides here, Barcelona is the least attractive to watch in their style of play. And that says something. They have the most exciting player, but they're probably the least attractive to watch. So I predict the final that I don't want to see because of jerseys. Liverpool against Ajax. But it really can go either way. Uh, just taking my hedges here. I don't think... I The one I would want to see is the, one the two teams in the middle. I can't see this happening. I can't see this happening. I can't see this happening. I'm saying for now, Ajax against Liverpool will be the final. And it would be a great one. Uh, and then we'll see who will win. I'm talking about the, before the final. I'm not going to give further predictions. Um, it would hurt me, honestly. I, I don't mind either one of these teams winning. But I have to say, if Ajax doesn't win, the next favorite would be Barcelona for me. I want Messi to get this trophy. On the other side, it will be easier for me to cheer for Ajax um, if they play Liverpool in the final. And this is nothing against Liverpool. As I said, I have sympathies for all four teams at some point. Let me know what you think. Uh, whether I'm, You probably think I'm totally off. And even if you don't, I want to know what you think. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of these. And I'll have a big league review video ready for you the latest on Wednesday and up until then bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that I want to wish you a wonderful day